everybody. Welcome to East Atlanta Village. We're about four miles from downtown Atlanta, and this is one of the most popular areas for our builders to build in. A few reasons for that. One, it's an affordable place to build from a lot standpoint. This is also an area that's you know, got great diversity, very eclectic, and has an area that has great bars and restaurants and scene. This is a place that people want to buy and people want to be. So I was born and raised in Atlanta. I moved out a, a couple times here and there, but when I was younger, I didn't necessarily appreciate Atlanta. In Atlanta, you didn't really feel like you were in a city. I was having a hard time understanding what the value of Atlanta was until I started my own business. And then I realized that Atlanta is really a business city. You know, it started with the railroads, it moved into the airlines, and it's so easy to conduct business here. The cost of living is, is lower, um, the transient nature of people moving in, it's, it's growing like crazy. All the benefits that Georgia has, the infrastructure that we have with technology and the companies that have moved here has really helped us be able to have uh, the ability to build homes for high net wealth people. Like zero degrees. I'm not the case. Gotta... There was a huge demand for homes because builders were not building, uh, people were not renovating homes. It really created a huge opportunity. So we embarked on it and Atlanta was just growing leaps and bounds. So we were among the very few people who capitalized on it up front. We were able to find a good distressed properties, uh, rehab them, put them back in the community and engage with them. I think Atlanta is a great place to raise a family. It is um, such a diverse group of people here. For me, it was really important to have a little bit of land around the house to let dogs run around and let our eventual kids uh, uh, play in the yard. There's a lot of places in the world where it's really challenging to bring up your kids in a place that is culturally significant. Atlanta is that, it already has that. It's, it's really easy to expose my kid to a lot of the type of stuff that I want to. And at the same time, there's lots of amenities available for us. So I definitely like have a passion for modern. Uh, I think modern design is the future, especially here in Atlanta. I think that we have so many people coming from California, coming from New York, coming even from, from Florida, that people will come over here to, to Atlanta and they want modern, right? And I think that that market's it's a little underserved here in Atlanta, at, at least I would say good quality modern homes. So we are here at uh, Bear Place today. And uh, we're really excited because we're finally in the final stages of pouring this foundation. With it being such a big house and, and the lot, you know, we, we're having to move so much dirt around. This, it's been a challenge, you know. We had to move, I, I want to say around 80 loads of dirt. And we had some issues with trees and, I mean, it's, it, it was a lot to get where we are, but I'm really happy that we're here. One of the things that really drew me to this particular site when I bought it was the fact that it is on, on a hill. So, so when you drive in through the cul-de-sac, you see the house uh, displayed on top of a hill. And you know, you go around the cul-de-sac and you come back and you have a really good visual of the home. Hey, good morning, man. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. All right. It looks great. Yeah. Great. Everything coming along well? Coming along well, man. Good, good. Thank God, finally. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing when you see like the the slope stabilization and all the helical piles that you've had to do. I mean, this is an undertaking for sure, right? Man, 100%. Yeah. Just like in every project, you know, it's a learning experience. Yeah. This one was huge. Yeah, I think that one of the coolest things with this is the modern look of this home and now tucked into this cul-de-sac with these tall trees, these developed woods. I mean, this is gonna be a gem. It's really gonna be a nice property. So this will be uh, on and off the market quickly. I hope so, man. So. It's amazing to see that transformation and to see Higor's vision come to life. And it's, uh, it's really cool because I get to see it originally on paper 
when I'm doing an analysis on the, the project as a whole, and then to come out to the sites and then see it come up and see that progress go from, you know, mid this you know level here that we're at, uh, you know, at ground level, to when he goes vertical, to when he completes it and they're doing the final punch list stuff. It's an amazing transformation. A lot of work goes into place uh, to do that, but it's uh, it's a really fun process for us to watch as the the capital partner. Simonovich here from 33 Holdings. I'm a Senior Vice President of Operations and welcome to Burberry at Sandtown, one of our um, townhome developments in Marietta, Georgia. And we are building luxury affordable townhomes here. Here in Marietta, it's a very growing area um, and there's a lot of new developments here because it's such a, a new popular area in the suburbs. And so I think you're looking for um, you know, that young married couple looking for their first house possibly. You're looking for maybe even a retired couple that's looking to downsize and wants like um, an affordable but luxury type feel in a townhome. So we're just really thankful that we have partners like Lima One that work with us in various deals and various types of deals um, that support us on the, on the lending side. The beauty about this is this was one of our first complete ground up development means we took the homes that were here down, older homes, we did land development and then we went vertical. So I was very um, key about just going into something from step one all the way to step three, where the land development is done, the vertical is done, the sales is done, the whole nine yards. I feel like where I am now is a lot more space than where I was. My townhouse, like we would be in the kitchen like bumping into each other and trying to like get around one another. So having, just having like a counter was huge. You know, being able to, to walk around in space, have a baby that has somewhere that they can, they can learn how to walk and I don't have to worry about them bumping into things or falling down the stairs or just feeling like I had enough space for my family. And I really wanted to be in a cul-de-sac because I knew that I wanted my kids to be able to go outside and play. Here we are at the Loudermilk Home site, uh, just north of Chastain Park on Powers Ferry Road. Uh, this is a high-end custom home. It, uh, this is a build that's uh, 10,000 square foot plus, you know, with a lot of custom amenities. Anything you could imagine is gonna be in this house. You're talking about one of the most desirable areas in Atlanta, and this is where you know, people are gonna to wanna to have uh, young families grow up in a beautiful home. So I started my career uh, in real estate, not necessarily wanting to become a builder, but realized that uh, building the homes was a, a means to the end and went down that path. And, uh, and it's, been, it's been an amazing journey ever since. I love the creativity part of my job. Uh, I love being able to take a blank sheet of paper and with a client and be able to design out their dreams. Um, you know, working with our architects, working with our designers, making sure we consult with them and really understand what their, their needs are. And then uh, seeing that, that dream come uh, to fruition is, is really rewarding to me. Atlanta and Sandy Springs are very particular on their trees. Um, I think Atlanta has the largest canopy of tree coverage than any other city. I think it's at 49%. And we want to keep it that way. As the developer, we don't build for ourselves, right? I'm not building for myself. I'm building for a large audience of people that will step into my projects and say, wow, this is beautiful. I can really make this my own. Everyone needs shelter. Everyone needs a space. Everybody needs a safety net. So the home is uh, the crux of it. Um, so we pride ourselves in, you know, rehabbing homes, building homes and all. We're trying to make our investors money, making sure everything's getting done. But at the crux of it, these homes provide a living to people, right? They provide a sense of uh, belongingness in the world. You know, people are having babies, people are having birthdays, they're, you know, growing up. Uh, and all these things. So there's various phases of life that happens in these bodies or in this space that we have helped create. That is where we feel so special to be part of it in creating that space for them, for people.